What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be starting our Power BI tutorial series. Now, I am super excited to start this series with you guys. We're gonna be breaking this up in about six or seven videos. I don't really like those super long videos where it's like four hours long. I like breaking mine up into chunks. So that's what we're gonna do. This is the beginner series. And so we're gonna start with the very basics and we're just gonna work our way up. And I'm gonna walk you through every single step of the way. It'll be very easy to follow. Everything will be provided for you so that all you have to do is really follow along. And by the end of it, you should know Power BI a lot better. And you should have a lot more confidence using it. Now, before we actually jump onto my screen, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video. And that is Udemy. You guys know that I absolutely love Udemy. I've been using them for years. And that is no exception when it comes to Power BI. I have taken some of the best Power BI courses ever on Udemy. So I highly recommend you checking out the ones that I have in the description. These are ones that I actually took and I loved the most. So if you're looking for a full Power BI course, I highly recommend checking out Udemy. Thank you so much again to our sponsor. And now without further ado, let's jump on my screen and get started with the tutorial. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is download Power BI Desktop. I will leave this link in the description so you can just click on it, go to it and download it. We're gonna click this download free button. And once we click it, you can go to the Microsoft Store. And I already have it downloaded. So when you see it, it'll already say downloaded. But um, for you, you can go in here, you can click download and it will download it for you. I'm on Microsoft, but it may look a little bit different for you if you're on a different system. But once that is done, we are gonna open up Power BI. So let's go right down here to our search. Let's go to Power BI and it is gonna open up for us. All right, so right away, this is what it's gonna look like when you open it. And we're gonna go right over here to get data. And let's click on that. It's going to open up this window and it's going to give us a lot of different options for where we can get data from. Now, some of these are free and some you need to upgrade from, but you're just taking a quick glance through here. You have a ton of options. There's databases, there's you know blob storages, there's PostgreSQL or different SQL databases, and there's Google Analytics. There's a lot of places and you can go through the process to connect to that data and you can pull that data in from those data sources. Now, for what we are doing, we're just gonna be using an Excel. I'm gonna leave the Excel that I'm gonna be using in the description. You can go and download it and walk through this with me. So what we're gonna do is click on Excel workbook and we're gonna click connect. So we're gonna go right here in our Power BI tutorials folder and we're gonna click on apocalypse food prep. So let's click on that and it is going to connect and pull that data in. Now right here we have our navigator. And so if you had a lot of different sheets, you can click on that and choose which ones to pull in. I just clicked on it right over here and we're able to preview the data, but I can't load or transform it yet. I need to select which sheets I'm bringing in. So we only have one, so that's the only one we're gonna bring in. So you can go ahead and load the data or you can click on transform data. And it's gonna take us to Power BI Power Query, which is gonna allow us to transform our data. So I'm gonna have an entire video on how to transform the data, but I'm gonna give you a really quick glance at it to kind of show you what it is. So right up here, it says our Power Query Editor, and this is the window to basically transform your data and get it ready for your visualizations. Now you can do this in Excel if you want to and do that beforehand, or you can do it here. And there are lots of things that we can do in here, as you can see at the top. Again, I'll have an entire video dedicated to just Power Query, but let's take a quick look at the data and see if there's anything we wanna transform quickly before we actually go and start building our visualizations. So over here, we have the store where we purchased it, we have the product that we purchased, the price that we paid, and the date that we bought it. Now, the first thing that jumps out to me is that this just says date on it. We might wanna say date underscore purchased. And we're gonna hit enter. And if you noticed right over here on these applied steps, it says renamed columns. Everything that you do, every single step that you apply to transform this data is gonna be right over here. And if I want to, if I go back and I say, you know, I really didn't wanna rename that column, I can just click X and it is gonna get rid of that and take it back to its original state. So again, I'm just gonna say purchased and we're gonna enter that. Now, this is our apocalypse food prep. So this is food that we are buying for the apocalypse for this example. And if we look at our products, we have bottled water, canned vegetables, dried beans, milk, and rice. And all of that stuff makes sense, except for the milk. Uh, milk will not stay or last long in the apocalypse. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter that out really quickly and we're gonna click okay. And right over here again, it says filtered rows. And so now if we scroll down, there's no milk. So what we are going to do is we're gonna go over here to close and apply. And it is going to actually load the data into Power BI Desktop. So on this left-hand side, it immediately takes us to the report tab. And what we wanna do is go right here to the data tab. 
and take a look at our data. So again, there's our date purchased. And as you can see, the milk is not in there. Another tab that we're gonna take a look at, and again, in this report tab, this is where we actually build our visualizations. The data is where we can see the data and, and change it up a little bit and change some small things about it, like sorting the columns or even creating a new column. And over here, we have this other tab and it's called model. And this is especially useful when you have multiple tables or multiple Excels and you need to join them to kind of connect them together. We don't have that, but in a future video, I'm gonna walk through how to use this entire tab. So now let's go back to the data tab and I wanna just look at the data really quickly before we go over to the report tab and we start building our first visualization. As you can see, I've been buying these different products in different months. So this rice I've been purchasing in January, February, March, and April, and I've been buying it from three different locations because I wanted to see if I was spending less money at one location on all of the products. So then I would just shop there in the future and save a lot of money. Or if there were specific products that were really cheap at one location, but others, they were cheaper at a different location. And so I should just buy like the dried beans at Costco, but everything else I should be buying at Walmart. And so that's what we're gonna look at in just a little bit. So let's go over to the report tab. Right up here at the top, there's this data section. So you can kind of choose if you want to add any more data now that we are here. We can also write queries or transform the data like we were looking at in the Power Query Editor window. Over here in the insert, we can add a new visualization or a text box. And then in the calculation section, we can create a new measure or a quick measure. And then over here we have share where you can actually publish your report or your dashboard online. Now over on the visualization section on this far right, this is a very important area. This is where a lot of the actual creating of the dashboards happen. So let's take a look really quick and we'll get into a lot of these things as we're actually building our dashboard. So we're not just sitting here looking and talking, we're going to be actually building and doing. All right, so we're going to click right here on this drop down on sheet one. And it's going to show us all of our columns. Now, Two of the things that we wanted to look at were where are we spending the least amount of money buying the exact same product? That'll help us determine where we want to shop. And the second thing was, should I be buying all my products at the same place? Or are there certain products that they're going to be cheaper at a specific store and I should buy it there? So let's start out with the first one, which we're just going to see with the store and the price where we're spending the least amount of money. And just at a quick glance, we can see we're spending the least amount of money at Costco at $210 versus Target 219 and Walmart at 225. And that really answers our question, but we wanna visualize it better, be able to see it in a, an easier way. So we're gonna go right over here and we can click on a lot of these, but the one that probably makes the most sense is the stocked column chart. And it's gonna show Walmart, Target, and Costco. Now they're all the same color. Let's add a legend. So we're just gonna drag store over here down to this legend. And let's make this larger while we're working on it. So now we can see we're spending the most amount of money at Walmart, right in between at Target and then at Costco is the lowest. And so right there, we know that Costco is the place to go for our apocalypse food prep, but is it gonna be that way for every product? I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's put this up in this corner and let's start a new one. We're gonna need to select the product for sure and the price and probably the store as well. And let's click on... Let's not do this one. We need a clustered column chart. That's what we need. Let's bring this over here. Let's expand this quite a bit. And so really at a glance, this is giving us everything that we need. We can see each product right here and we can see how much we're paying per store. And so for rice, we're paying, it looks like a lot more for our rice at Walmart while at Target is actually where we are paying the least. Now, if we look at all of these, it looks like for Costco, the only one that we're really paying a lot more on is on our rice. But for our dried beans, our bottled water, we're paying quite a bit less. And really, it's pretty negligible for these canned vegetables. We're paying maybe, what, 60 cents, 50, 60 cents more per can. So that's pretty negligible. But for the big ticket items, we're really spending a lot less at Costco. If we wanted to, spend, to save just a little bit more money, we could go to Target for our rice. Now, if I wanna make this more like a dashboard and we're only keeping these two things, I'm gonna kind of size them like this. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. I'm gonna size them a little bit like this. So now that we have that looking good, we wanna change the title of both of these. So what we're going to do is go over here in our visualizations and format your visual. And we are gonna to go to this general, go to title, and now we can name it anything we really want. For this, we're gonna say best store for product. And while we're in here, one other thing that I wanted to do is I want to go to this visual, I'm going to go right down here to these data labels. 
Now we haven't added any data labels. So I'm gonna click on and you'll see exactly what it does. It just puts the labels and the numbers above it. So you don't have to actually like hover over it and see what it is. Now it is actually rounding these numbers. So what we're gonna do is go down here. We're gonna go down to values and we'll go down to display units and it's on auto. So it's auto rounding those numbers. And we're just gonna say none so we can see the actual value of these numbers. And we can do the exact same thing over here. It probably is a good thing to do. And it just is gonna visualize it a little bit differently in here, but you can always change that if you want to. Go over here to title, and we're gonna say total by store. And now we're gonna take a look. And so in a matter of minutes, we were able to take our data from an Excel, put it into Power BI, transform it a little bit, then we were able to create these visualizations that gave us concrete answers to some very important topics. We now know that Costco is the place to go for basically every single product, except if we're buying rice. And if we want to save just a few dollars, we're going to head over to Target. And that is genuinely going to change my shopping habits for the next several years until the apocalypse happens. So in future videos, we're going to dive into a lot of the things that we looked at today, but just in more detail. And then at the very end of the series, we're going to have an entire project where we really use every single part of Power BI and create a beautiful dashboard. And so that's all we have for our very first video in our Power BI series. I hope it was helpful. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.